Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Tarot Talk. Tarot Talk. Today, I wanted to show you uh, a new deck I just gotten. Real cheap. 35 cents. It's called the Kabbalistic Tarot. And... I'm going to have to do some research on them before I can uh, do any readings because it is a little bit different from anything I've encountered before. Well, it follows the Hebrew alphabet. And it has different, uh, let me find a couple different ones. That's what the, uh, the cards look like. So, yes, they're, they're going to take a little bit of uh, learning. Now, sorry, things have been crazy. I've been trying to do these readings for a while. Things have been crazy. Haven't gotten really any free time. Been doing some taping. Yesterday, we went and filmed a local uh, legendary haunting haunted place i'll say and it was wild it's like the whole trip it was like just a little bit off because this place is uh well it's a famous local witch's grave. And on the way there, there is a big black dog in the middle of the road, out of nowhere, just standing right in our path. And then, trying to get there, we got on some of these roads that was logging roads basically you'd need big equipment to get through <laughs> they were so full of potholes and it was not meant for an ordinary vehicle and then we found it and we did evps and while we were there Something wild happens. We both hear things. Um, disembodied voices. Just out of the blue. And when you check, there is places on the video where you do capture them saying something but it's not what we heard on the site it's it's not anything like what we heard so it was really really bizarre but you can hear at least i know on the one you can hear the disembodied voice so uh yeah, it, it it was it was a pretty strange trip. And then she let us know it was time to go, so we left. But that video will be coming out soon, so keep your eyes open. We have several other things planned. Um I don't know how they're going to work out yet. Um Some of it's still up in the air. We'll just have to play it by ear. But we hope to bring you some more Halloween treats. And with that, let's get down to your readings. First one up is uh, Christine Brown. And she requested... 
the Tarot of Wonderland cards. Let me get them out of here. Felt like one was still in there. Okay. So, Christine, let's see what we get for you. Boy. It went to stick on me for some reason. I don't know why. First card is the Three of Cups. The next card is the Four of Wands. And the next card is the Nine of Swords. Okay. This means that there will be a happy solution to a problem. Um, as you can see, they're... they're celebrating they've, they've got good reason to be happy life's going pretty good um it looks like there's you've had some healing of your soul um maybe some sort of victory or something to bring you peace um Maybe you discovered a, a new access to knowledge that you hadn't had before. Or maybe uh, there's been something about your dreams, even. And uh, it looks li like life's been going good in the household. Um, you've managed to ward off evil pretty well um maybe there's a romance in the works or some sort of unexpected happiness uh i see prosperity peace tranquility um and maybe the achievement of a dream that'll bring wealth or or happiness um This could maybe indicate country life. Um, or maybe you've been through a struggle and this could be just a, a intermittent period of rest where you can recharge and regain but in the future, it looks like there may be some anxiety over a loved one. Um, some worry or concerns coming up. There might be a quarrel or uh, something that's uh, going to cause some unhappiness. Um, it could go as far as even like despair and suffering. Um, let's 
so it, it boy i'm sorry christine but uh it looks like things might be kind of rough here at least Emotionally, mentally, it looks like it might be kind of rough. You've had this time to uh, get prepared. And now this big issue is coming up. So you've been recharged. You've managed to fight off evil and everything. But now something's ready and it's coming. So just keep your eyes out for that. Okay. Sorry to tell you, Christine. Okay. Uh, next up, it was uh, Fox, the Wonder Dog. And she wanted Madame and Dora's fortune cards. And I kind of like these cards. For some reason. I don't know why. I just do. Okay. These are shuffling better. Okay, first one up. Okay, first one up is love. And that's saying that it obviously it, love and romance is in the air. It represents honesty, fidelity, a lasting union and a rekindling of affections you will attain your heart's desire next one is the queen which is love and prosperity and now the queen represents a dominant uh, female figure um someone who's respected and she's kind of a refined woman who is also sympathetic and uh like nurturing um but emotionally she's strong she also represents love prosperity and fertility so you've got this love thing here in the, in the works. I don't know what exactly is going on. And the last one is the talisman. You are destined to succeed. Okay, the talisman is like a, a keepsake or a charm. Uh, that offers protection or just has a lot of uh, of uh, deep meaning to you. Um, good fortune is shining upon you and you are destined to succeed in your goal. So there you have it. I hope that that uh, makes sense to you. 
That was a very pleasantly very good reading. All right, next up was uh, Rain, who wanted the Black Moon Astrology cards. First one up, you have oh, Libra, which is balance. Don't go it alone. Linking up with a partner will serve you best. Libra is a sign of balance, charm, and beauty. Librans are notorious for their wit, ability to weigh and judge, as well as their appreciation for beautiful things in life. They adore collecting striking things. That means objects and people. Librans are aesthetics with love of art and literature that can at times be showy and vainglorious. Librans are known for changing their minds and opinions. What is true one day may not be the next. Because they are so balanced, they see all sides to every issue but they tend to vacillate and have trouble coming to any final decisions librans tend to have second thoughts and change their minds at the last minute they will also float along waiting for matters to resolve on their own without pushing as hard as they need to librans make outstanding judges and negotiators they can be agreeable but sometimes agree to think things they don't want sacrificing what they truly feel and think just to get along. There is also the sarcastic Libra who loves to test his wit against others. Their quick-witted retorts are often filled with sarcasm and sharp accuracy. John Lennon and Oscar Wilde are examples of the acerbic wit that Librans are famous for. They also love to play devil's advocate, particularly since this is a sign of balance and peace. Libras rule the seventh house of partners and marriage. Those influenced by this sign will do best with a partner, but it can be a sign of codependency and may pair up at the drop of a hat. Libra is the sign of lovers and romance. Although Libra is a masculine sign, Libran men understand women better than any other sign. When the Libra card turns up, it indicates you are riding the fence over something and need to make a decision soon. If you do not make your decision, it will be made for you. The potential for you not liking the ending is high if you do not act and decide soon. This is a favorable card for romance and relationships. It indicates a time when relationships are turning happier and more content. Right now, everything must be fair and balanced. It's important not to sacrifice your own feelings or desires simply because you hope to avoid a conflict. It will feel as if the middle approach is the smartest one now, and this is probably right. Card can represent an impending marriage or engagement. Relationships are about to move up a level or a more serious one. Feelings have matured. Happiness is achieved when you pool your resources with a significant other. Achievement will be found when you find the right person who mirrors your own ideals and beliefs. All matters work on within sincere and equal partnerships shall prove to be successful to the utmost.
The key ideas here are merging, choices, romance, alliances, mutual support, and coming to a decision. All right, Rain. That was a mouthful. So I hope that makes sense to you. Anyway, last one up is Kim Fitzgerald. And she won it. I'll show you this side. The Universal Celtic Tarot. Or Celtic, depends on, I guess, depends on how you were taught. Sometimes I say Celtic, sometimes I say Celtic. I guess it just depends on the mood I'm in. First up is the Six of Wands. Be closer there. Next up is the Star. But these are all reversed. And the last one, also reversed, is the King of Swords. So, Kim. You're going to have to excuse me on this one, Kim, because uh, I don't speak any of the Celtic languages. And my pronunciation of their names and words and stuff is awful. <laughs> Because the words never quite look how they, you think they would be spelled. Like, uh, Soen, Soen, which uh, refers to Halloween, is spelled like Samhain. And <laughs> there's a big difference there. Anyway, let me let me go for it here. Okay. The Tuatha leave the borders of their world following their leader. Order and tradition is what this is talking about. Um Now these were considered like the old gods of, at least the, of the Irish. They were the old race and um, I'm not sure exactly what this is referring to. This might have been referring to when they left and went across the ocean and there supposedly is an island across the ocean where they they went to and it's like an island of the dead and I have to brush up on my uh, Celtic myths because it's been a little while but anything anyway it's it's order it's procession things have been going pretty um, orderly you know no surprises or anything coming up so, it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, this, this card indicates that things will be 
a little bit unexpected and unplanned, a little crazy. I don't think it's going to last long, but you're going to have some unexpected events to uh, probably to shake up this, this order and everything that's been going on. Something unexpected is going to happen. Um, okay. It looks like this guy might cause, start some trouble. Trouble is brewing with this guy. Um, if, if I had to put uh, odds on it, I'd say it would be like a red-haired older guy. You might have some trouble with. Not necessarily that fits that description. That's just the basic description that is associated with this card. Um, normally he would act as a, a protector, an advisor, but this guy, he's, he's uh, you know, he, he's not on your side. He... Uh, don't don't listen to his advice. Uh, be leery of him, because he just wants to start trouble. Might could be a woman. It could you know. I'm, don't don't limit me by saying it's a guy. Most likely it is an older guy. But this person, let's say, this person wants to start trouble. They're they're out to start trouble. And just keep your eyes out for him. All right, Kim. Man, I'm sorry I only read one card for you, but yours was so long. Normally the longer ones I only read one of. I'm going to pull you a rune to go with your card, Rain. Okay. You have, oh, the sun. Now, the sun means success. It, it means progress, growth, uh, maybe a new beginning of sorts. Uh, fertility, prosperity, um, and this could refer to God, even. And think of it this way. Uh, the brightness of the sun illuminates all things and chases away the shadows of doubt and depression. It helps uh, plants grow and flourish. Um, just remember, though, uh, positivity. Stay positive. Huge manifestations are coming your way. Powerful, unstoppable. Um, masculine energy is in play. Uh, uh, plenty, plenty of attention is being paid to you right now. And overwhelming growth is happening. So there, uh, Rain, how's that? That was a good rune. I like that. Well... That's all I have for now. Oh, before I leave, if I have it, uh, I can find it. Check out this thing I got uh, not too long ago. Um, I ordered it. <laughs> and it's so cool. And it kind of, not really quite tarot, but it's kind of cool. So uh, check this out. And uh, it I wanted to show you this cool thing I picked up. It was on sale. I saw it and I loved it. And it wasn't too much. 
Just thought I'd share. In the meantime, you all have a uh, blessed day. Peace, believe, because the spirits are out there. And until next time, bye-bye.